Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I am a drone pilot and I have something really cool for you today. I have a drone that actually really impressed me, a GPS camera drone. Not many of them super impressed me, but this one did. It's this baby, the Potensic Atom. And why did this little guy impress me? Well, to be honest, it's pretty much a DJI Mini 2. Yep, at a much lower price and with active track. And let me tell you about this really quick. First off, it's under 250 grams. The camera shoots 4K video at 30 frames per second, also shoots 12 megapixel photos, has a three axis gimbal, a true three axis gimbal. You can put a micro SD card in this drone so that you can record your video and your photos or you can let them go all the way to your phone. It has a super fast modern GPS. As soon as you put it on the ground, it's gonna grab all the satellites in the sky. You're gonna be up to like 20 some odd satellites in no time. So it's very accurate in that fashion. On the bottom, we have optical flow and we also have landing and takeoff sensors on the bottom. So it knows when the ground's coming up. Battery in the back is gonna give you 32 minutes of flight time. And with that flight time, you can get out to six kilometers of range, which is about what, four miles, I believe. If you live in a part of the world where it's windy all the time, it can handle level five wins it's pretty decent for that it's got a pretty good speed to it too as you'll see in the video but the reason most people are going to buy this is because of the price and because it has active track yes this thing you can select anything you want on screen on your display and it will track it and it actually works perfectly oh and it also has waypoints. Now the version I have is the Fly More Kit. So just like DJI, there's a Fly More Kit. So with the Fly More Kit, which I think is a really good deal, instead of getting the one battery, you get three batteries and you get the Quick Charger, which is right here. This Quick Charger comes with its own wall wart. So it's a fast Quick Charger. And I guarantee you're gonna be super surprised how fast these batteries charge up with this wall wart. Also in the Fly More Kit, and I think this is something DJI should do with their Fly More Kits, you get a micro SD card. So it comes already with a 64 gig micro SD card if you get the fly more kit. Now one thing interesting is the remote. I really love this remote but haven't we seen this style of remote someplace before? Yes we have. Fimi, same remote. Exactly the same. The antennas are a little bit differently shaped, but the buttons and everything else, everything is pretty much the same. So whatever company is making the Fimi remote is also making the remote for Potensic. So now I reviewed this little baby several days ago and uh, here's, you can see me reviewing it here, but you notice something that's missing. My lips are moving, but no sound is coming out. Yeah, so I shot an entire review video and the audio was really bad and it wasn't recording properly. So in cases like that, I usually just don't show the review video or I redo it. But in this case, I don't have enough time. So what I've done is I put a voiceover over the review video. So what you're gonna see is my lips moving, but my sound is gonna be coming out of this voice into a microphone standing someplace else over top of that video. It's not too confusing, you'll enjoy it. Anyways, uh, enough talking, let's get on to the review. Here we go. Here I am unfolding the Atom, getting it ready for its very first flight. To power it on, you have to press the power button twice. One short press, then one long press. Now on your remote, this is how you attach the phone cable for whichever phone you have. Just plug it into the remote, then plug the other end into your phone. As you see here, a large phone will fit in the remote. My phone is an iPhone 11 Pro Max with a case on it, so that's quite large and it fits nice. And to power on the remote, it's a double press of the power button, one short press, then one long press. The remote will then automatically connect to the drone. Now it's important to position the antennas on the remote in a fashion that will best communicate with the drone. So you want the flat end of the antenna facing the drone. Now in order to fly the Atom, you will need to use the Potensic Pro app. Simply start it up, then tap on the enter device option. Connected. And your app and drone will connect. The very first thing you need to do is a compass calibration. You only need to do this the very first time you go fly and never again. Unless of course something goes terribly wrong with the compass in your drone. Follow the instructions on screen and start with a horizontal calibration. Then when told, switch to a vertical calibration. Vertical calibration. Spin it a few more times until you're told that the calibration is finished. Calibrated successfully. Here I am being super surprised that the GPS already has over 20 satellites and it's telling me takeoff is permitted. 
Now as a new user, when you get this drone and fire it up for the very first time, the app is going to walk you through and explain exactly what every single item does. Now I've already ran this once, so I don't have that on my screen. But in the video, this is what I'm explaining that for beginners, this is really decent. I'm also explaining that the interface is very similar to what you would see on a professional drone, like something from DJI. Such as here, I can change the video resolution. I can go from auto mode to manual, full manual settings. I can also change the exposure value resolution as well. The micro SD card that is in the drone. I can look at how many gigs are remaining or how much recording time is remaining. So in summary, the app is laid out very nicely. Look at the right hand side. Everything you need to record video or take photos is there. If you look at the bottom, that's all your telemetry information, you know, your speed, your height. And if you tap on the map, well, then you have the map of where you are and then back to your video camera. And finally, I'm reminding you that it is a very dull day outside, so the camera's gonna have to struggle to shoot really good video. So let's check it out, time to fly. For the takeoff, you can use the app and select auto takeoff, or you can do like I did here, pull the joysticks down and out, props will start, move up the left joystick, and the drone will launch. Home point refreshed. Now there is a 10 mile per hour wind today and the drone seems to be sitting quite still in the air. Even as I walk around it, it looks solid. This is me checking out the video quality of the Atom, coming up close to see if it remains in focus, then walking away to see if it remains in focus. Also, I'm walking around just to ensure that the 30 frames per second is a true 30 frames per second. In other words, the image looks smooth as I walk, it's not all stuttery. And here I'm checking out how well the Atom flies for the very first time. I want to make sure that the joysticks are responsive, that the Atom is very maneuverable, and well, it passed all my tests. Here I'm testing out the photo quality of the Atom, so I'm going to snap a picture of myself, and uh, here's the photo. It looks good to me. What do you think? Now what I want to show you is the automated quick shots on this drone. They are very similar to the DJI Mini Drone series. Have a look at the right hand side of the screen and you can see all the available quick shots. The great thing is if you Three, select yourself or two, another object, the camera one, will stay positioned on go. that object during the quick shot and the quick shot will record automatically just in case you forget to hit record. And when the Atom completes the quick shot, the Atom will return back to your position. The purpose of quick shots on any drone on the market is for social media purposes. If you're on vacation, you record a quick shot, it's a very small file and then you send it off to family and friends or post it on social media. Next, I'm going to give the spiral quick shot a try. Spiral is very popular because the drone will circle you Three, as it's ascending two, up into the heavens. One, so it can look really cool go. if you're out on vacation touring some awesome area. Now, when I initiated this spiral quick shot, I was a little concerned that the drone would fly and hit the trees that were surrounding me. However, I noticed in this spiral quick shot, the drone stays very tight to you until it gets up to a certain height. Then it starts to pull away, which is very nice for shots where you don't have a lot of room. But more importantly, the Atom keeps the camera locked on you, the subject. So if you move around while the spiral is happening, well, you're still going to stay in the frame. Now I'm going to try the image follow. This is a tracking device that will follow anything you select. You have a choice of drawing a box around any object or tapping on a plus sign that's already on the screen. In addition, you can select how long you want the tracking to occur for, either one minute, two minutes, three minutes, or even if you want infinity forever. When you're ready, three, select the go button two, and start walking. The Atom one, will follow you no matter go. where you go, but there's no obstacle avoidance on the Atom, so you cannot walk under trees or near buildings. Now I'm gonna speed this up and show you that the Atom was able to follow me as I changed course. The Atom did not lose me at all anytime I tried out this feature. Now, as mentioned, the Atom can track anything you select. That's large enough, you know, within reason. So I'm going to have it track my Captain Drone landing pad. So let's give it a try. I draw a box around the Captain Drone landing pad. All is well. I just have to hit the go button and we're all set for the tracking to commence. Three, two, one, go. Tracking has started. So now if I lift up the landing pad, the drone should continue to track it no matter where that landing pad goes. So I'm starting off slow, holding it out. Now what if I 
hold it at an angle. Does it still track it? Yeah, the sunlight on it, it gets folded. It's still tracking it. This is pretty cool. So no matter where I take that landing pad, it will track it. So this tells you that you can track pretty much anything you see. You know, draw a box around your dog, your cat, things like that. So now I'm taking the Atom for a flight just to check out some of the beautiful fall colors as well as some of the local scenery. I come across my city getting the snow plows ready for the winter season. These snow plows drive on the highways and move all the snow off the highway and the ice and push it to the side. In the back they usually fill the back up with sand or salt. And over here this is where all the sand and salt is stored throughout the winter. See this truck driving? That is somebody learning how to drive this truck, getting ready for snow removal in the winter. Training is going on. Now let's speed up this video as I head over to the water area. Here you can see the fall colors on either side of this section of water. Over here we have the field I usually record most of my review videos. However, little kitties are on it at the moment, so can't use it. Suddenly, my drone goes into return to home mode. Returning. The drone calculated that I was getting too far away from home and I had insufficient battery power remaining to fly back. So it stopped me at the point that I would have just enough battery power to return to home. So it's returning automatically. So this is going to be a good time to check out how closely it returns to the point where it took off. Now I'm going to speed up the return to home video. Let me just say that this is a very quiet drone. As a matter of fact, when it was returning to home, I had difficulty finding it in the sky because I just couldn't hear it. So I don't believe people will be bothered too much from the sound of this tiny little drone. All right, so here it is coming down. How close is it going to get to the landing pad? Well, I don't see a landing pad under it, do you? Nope, it's just chewing up the grass, but there is a landing pad someplace and it's well over there. See that yellow thing? So it doesn't have precision landing like a DJI drone. That's one item it is lacking. Now I've replaced the battery and we're going to take it for another flight and this time I'm going to try out the waypoints. The waypoint feature is located in the map so just tap the map on the lower left. Looking at the maps you can select between hybrid, standard and satellite. For this example I'm going to use satellite. Now since I've never used waypoints before, when I click on the waypoint button, I am going to receive a tutorial and a tiny little video explaining how everything works. So my plan is to make three waypoints, two by the water, and then one back by me. When done it looks like this, all I have to do is tap on the go button and we're all set to fly. I've sped up the animation here so you can see the drone moving as it heads to waypoint number one. If you tap on the image on the lower left, you will see what the drone sees and you can move the camera up and down while it's flying to the three waypoints. However, I learned that if you try to yaw the drone from left to right while it's in a waypoint mode, it just cancels the waypoint. As you can see here, the drone comes to a dead stop. Well, the scenery looks so nice that I kept on flying forward and I saw a city worker working below, so I flew the drone near the city worker and I know the city worker is wondering, why is my boss spying on me? So I thought it best to fly higher, out of sight, and go check out some of the other fall colors. I can say flying the Atom farther and farther away from me, I did not encounter any video transmission errors. However, the farther and farther you get away, I did notice that the image on the display will no longer be super smooth. It might stutter a little, but it's still solid. Now here is something I found quite amusing. I started to follow a vehicle on the road. And if you look at my phone screen, look what it says at the bottom. It's all about not drunk driving, but drunk flying, which I thought was kind of amusing since I'm following a vehicle. And here I'm going to snap another photo just to show you the photo quality. And now it's time to bring the Atom back to me and end this review. Now one thing I didn't mention in this review is how fast the Atom flies. It actually moves at a pretty good pace and you can maneuver it very easily. Here I am just spinning it around trying to get it on the landing pad. And I'm trying to avoid the GoPro that I have on the landing pad because if you know me, the first thing I always crash into in any review is a GoPro. So here I am trying to miss it and uh, well I was pretty lucky, I missed it. Now how well does the camera perform in low light? So I took it out one early morning at 7.30 a.m. and it was raining outside and I said, what the heck, we're gonna fly this little guy, so we took it for a flight. 
Well, I can say the camera had no issues with low light, as you can see here. As a matter of fact, it didn't even have issues with the raindrops falling on it because there are no vent holes on the top portion, so rain can't get in unless you leave it out for a long time. Here you can see my sleepy little community in the early morning. You can see that I'm actually flying at the very base of the cloud that's above me, but the image looks pretty decent. Now, in my professional opinion, the image quality coming out of the Atom is very similar to the image quality that comes out of the DJI Mini 2. As a matter of fact, let me show you. First up is the DJI Mini 2. Now this camera has a great image. Check it out right here. This is early morning. Everything looks good. Now the only differences you're going to see with the Atom, shown here, is that you will see more detail in the shadows. In essence, the Atom has a brighter image, almost like HDR, but it's not HDR. Now DJI is known for boosting the contrast on almost all of its drones, which is not a bad thing. On most days it looks good, but on dull days it becomes too contrasty, whereas a drone like the Atom looks pretty good on a dull day. Now, as mentioned, I have the Fly More kit, so I'm gonna show you what I received in my Fly More kit. Check it out. This is the box the Atom comes in. Opening the box, you'll find some documentation. If you purchase the Fly More kit, you'll also find a carry bag. As for documentation, it's very minimal because it's in so many different languages. The instruction manual is not included in book form. You have to go into the app to find the instruction manual. Now I have the Fly More kit, so I'm gonna show you what I received, such as the carry case and shoulder strap, and of course the Atom. Now the Atom has a nice 4K 3-axis gimbal camera. In addition on the bottom you'll find the optical flow sensor as well as infrared sensors for takeoff and landing. The batteries are good for 32 minutes of flight and they are 2230 milliamp hours. If desired batteries can be individually charged via USB-C cable plugged in here. However with the Fly More kit you get three batteries and the battery charging tray and the fast charger. My Fly More kit came with a micro SD card that was rated at U3 with a capacity of 64 gigs. Plenty of spare props and screws are also included for the Atom. Total weight of the Atom with battery is only 240 grams. A very nice remote is included with the joystick stored in the forward section. The remote is designed to fit most small and large cell phones on the market. The buttons are minimal with a power button on the left and on the right you have your return to home button and pause button. On the front you have a take a photo button on one side, then start video, stop video, on the other side as well as move the gimbal up and down. Nothing is shown on the rear because this is a rechargeable remote so they do provide you with a USB-C cable for charging. As well you're provided with cable connectors that will fit any cell phone on the market. All right you're back to me. Well my only recommendations are it's a buy. I don't usually say something is a buy in many videos. I always leave it up to the viewer to decide if it's for them but I would say for the price and the features you get especially if you're looking for your very first drone this is beyond a good deal. This is a really good buy. So I would think anybody who gets this should be happy with it. The only one tiny negative I noticed with it, because I fly almost every drone in the world, it seems, that's consumer anyways, is that when you fly this drone far away from yourself, make sure the flat portion of these antennas are facing the drone. Because if you're like this and you're holding your controller like that, you're not gonna get a good signal. It has to be like this and the drone over here. Everything will work out well. You'll know your antennas are not correct because the video signal coming back at long range might start to stutter a little bit. If it starts to stutter and it's not super smooth, just adjust and everything's good. All right, so with all that said, links to this product are below. Go check it out and see if it is something you would love for Christmas or right now to go flying because it's really good. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions on this product, post them below and I'll get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in a future video with many more reviews. Until then, I say bye.